Um, what have been some of your thought processes during those transition periods um, compared to like today? Right. Because I help a lot of new agents. You know, they've been licensed two years, three years. All they know are four percent, three percent rates. And, you know, you offers. put a house on the, uh, you know, sign in the yard and it's gone in 24 hours. Yeah. How did you navigate some of those waters of of change and transition? Um, I think it was just I think it was just seeing what was going on and then trying to adapt to it as best we could. It's hard to get ahead of things. Um, and so I think it was just um, just trying to find, you know, just trying to keep going and trying to find ways around things like in 08 um, when things started slowing down and there was a lot for sale, we're like, what can we do? Like, how can we make our listings stand out? And so we started a staging business in 2009 um, and we got a warehouse and we bought, you know, tens of thousands of dollars of brand new stuff that we could have in this warehouse. And we offered a service to our sellers where we would stage their home for free if they listed with us. Mm. And it was kind of a way where um, it would make someone's house stand out versus everything else that was for sale. Um, and it kind of gave us an advantage over another agent who might say, you know, hey, how about you hire the staging company? Well, we were offering it for free and we were doing, you know, we were doing it ourselves. Um, yeah. So we were just putting in more time kind of on the front end before it even hit MLS or went online, making sure that it, the property was staged, making sure it was presented well so that when it did hit, we were getting a lot of activity and, you know, wasn't sitting on the market six months. Yeah. Showing your, your, your value and differentiating yourselves from the competition. Right. Exactly. Yeah. You know, people tell me all the time, you know, I, I'm not nervous about any change. I, I got in in 2011. So, you know, I was still dealing with some of the tail end of mm -hmm. foreclosures and short sales and, you know, all the fun stuff that we, that we all enjoyed back then. Right. Right. <laughs> and, but, but it, you know, what it comes down to and like now, right now you got, like when I got into the business, there was about 15 of us in real estate class. And then now there's like 50 people in real estate class. And there's, yeah. but what, it comes down to, you know, are you a professional? Have you, have you worked on the skills that it takes to, you know, have the consultations, right? The buy side and the listing side. And then what's your value proposition to your clients and how are you different? Right, right. You know, and, and you have to be able to articulate that. And um, you know, and if you can do those things, it doesn't matter what, what the market is. I always tell people real estate's going to sell, right? You know? Right. People are going to buy, people are going to sell. You just got to maybe figure out a different way of doing it that you're not used to doing. Right. Exactly. Yeah. And I think, or communication too, um, you know, we were never, um, we never try to hide any statistics. So back then we would say, you know, Hey, right now the average days on market is 68 days. Um, you know, we can't make any promises, but we'll do our best to try to, you know, beat that average. And now, you know, it's average days on markets, five days, you know, we can't make any promises, but I think it's just being honest and um, communicating, but at the same time, not setting false expectations. Yeah, no, I love it.